Shalom, Shalom again to the Rastafari, Nainai, Ethiopian, Hebrew um, brothers and sisters. This is, uh, I am Aras Yadinos Teferi, and you should be viewing this on the Ethiopia World Net channel. Post a link to it on your page. Let all the brothers and sisters check it out if you find this to be interesting and informative and enlightening on some of the halves of the story and the parts of our history, the fullness of who we be in the spiritual reality. Now, we got two new books, and I want to talk about each of them um, in perspective to why we, of the Society of His Majesty, regard these books to be very vital and very important. I was going to begin off by speaking about time. You know, it's interesting that it's about time that we're able to also publish and even with this whole new media but we understand that this technology and this whole world system is um, subject to change so we have to maximize the time you understand so we're putting some of these 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 um, informations and documentation out publishing it we think that um, there's really maybe nothing more powerful in a sense, as far as a thing, than the transmission of thought, idea, um, information. You understand? Know because knowledge and education is the key. You, you know, education is the key even to our spiritual, and especially to our spiritual and the spiritual reality. Now, these two new books, without further ado, these two new books are one, um, The Cannabis Matrix, the vid that we did earlier, the Cannabis Matrix, right, it was about the Cannabis Matrix here. This is a trilogy, plus there's a appendix, uh, we call it the Sheshat Appendix. So the name of the volume is the Cannabis Matrix, the Sheshat Appendix, Selected Essays of Ionis or Johannes the Composer. All right, so this is what we've been speaking about previously in a couple of the videos over this Fasica or Passover season 2012, all right? So we're going to touch on this one. And then we have this. This is an oldie but a goodie right here. This is the, wiz, the witness, the witness of the stars. And this is uh, E. Um, w. Ethelbert W. Bullinger book. This goes back like to the... 19, I think this is 1921. This is a 1921 book. And we begin off with asking the question concerning this particular title right here, The Witness of the Stars. We ask the question, why are the stars, the real stars, not these fake stars, not the man-made stars, but the, 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 the true stars, the heavenly stars, why are they important, especially speaking from a Judeo-Christian or a religious or a righteous or a conscious perspective. So there's a lot of psychobabble about the stars, as well as cannabis. So it's interesting that these two books, this is um, the day that we receive these copies right here, you know, these publishers copies right here and they're now available all right so let's deal with one of each one of these one by one and let's begin off with the cannabis the cannabis matrix right the cannabis matrix now um we put this under rastafari movement and in parentheses we put gnostic christianity the word gnostic or gnosis or gnosis is a Greek word. It's used throughout the New Testament Septuagint Bible for to know. In other words, as to perceive or to have acquaintance with to know. As the Master Yeshua, our Black Lord and Savior, says, Ye shall what? Know the truth. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The active word there, the to do word is to know or have gnosis. The scriptures also speaks about the fulfilling and the growing of our faith in the knowledge or the full knowledge, the epigenosis, the full knowledge of the Son of God, of the Bain Ha Elohim, of the Bain Ha Elohim. So this particular book right here contains a trilogy of of essays, 
um, and these three essays from the, from the table of contents page right here, a deeper look at the role of Christ's sacrifice, the black lord of karma um, on page 13, and this is, the second one is the cannabis, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, cannabis. is cannabis, is, it begins with the pros it, or the proposing the question of is cannabis, could cannabis have been the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? And what's the connection with the tree of life in that whole biblical Judeo-Christian? And see, some people think it's a new thing talking about cannabis or talking about herb or marijuana and spirituality and religion and what men and people and the controversy around it. But it's not a new issue when you begin to search and study and, and seek the truth, you understand, and find the truth. The, the third essay in here is the messianic allegory behind the matrix. The messianic allegory behind the matrix. Now, the matrix is speaking about the matrix movie, which is also a trilogy. Now, the mother of the Matrix, as we mentioned before, in our opinion, uh, as well as based on the facts and the evidence of the case, is a sister African-American woman named Sophia Stewart. And she has her information out there. She has a book, and hopefully we'll get a copy of that, check out some of the additional information, and have at least the document, the record of it. And we also encourage others, if they're able to get a copy of it, check check out more about the Sophia Stewart connection with the Matrix, the Wachowski Brothers um, movie, so forth and so on. But this particular essay here, um, the messianic allegory behind the Matrix trilogy, it looks at the, the, the three Matrix movies and from a um, Christological perspective, and we think there's a Rastafari revelation linked to all of this. But from a Christological, a Christ or a Judeo-Christian, a, a kind of a Bible-informed perspective, now looks at the Matrix movie in terms of the reality of the biblical gospel message. In other words, the Matrix movie is a modern mythology. You understand? You know, people use this word myth a lot, and we always talk about ancient past cultures, but myth, even modern peoples have myths. And the Matrix movie, because of the ideas that it speaks to and how it may be interpreted according to the perspective consciousness of the different receivers or people who, you know, are looking at it from their own particular level of awareness or acquaintance and interpreting into it, but yet it in itself has its own perspective that it presents. And this author here, this anonymous author, Ionis, the composer, has made some interesting observations and an interesting commentary. So we put this in the class of as well as medical or medicinal rather and sacramental marijuana. It's no coincidence that the medicinal level of the cannabosum has been recognized first, because that's the first thing that has been able to be proven according to this Gentile world system um, form of uh, uh, rational uh, materialism. In other words, from a rational, rational materialistic, uh, scientific approach, they needed the proof of the evidence. So we know that years of study have, has gone on on marijuana to the point that because it cannot be disproven to be medically beneficial, especially seeing the diseases that many people are using it to treat various different diseases and the side effects, you know, in these cases are nothing in comparison to the demonic, um, uh, the the the, the, the demonic, what you call it, pharmaceutical um, side effects. You know, some of the things are just, for lack of a better word, big pharma is the modern form of sorcery. So if you're reading in your Bible and it speaks about the sorcery, you understand this is these 
prescription big pharma by and large though there's a few of them that are basic you know are basic medical for use a lot of them have to deal with a lot of different sources but marijuana cannabis has been demonized so now this this probes into this particular situation right here so um, the Cannabis Matrix, the Sheshat Appendix, a trilogy of selected essays of Ionis, the composer, herein diligently researched, compiled, and briefly prefaced by I, uh, Arasia Dinos Tefari. Now, this book, it presents a trilogy of essays by the anonymous Ionis, the composer, along with an appendix that's called the Sheshat Appendix, compiled by the publishers, seeking to address and hopefully answer the various ancient mysteries, um, myths, and misconceptions behind the marijuana conspiracy. Criminalization and incarceration of the Rastafarians for their human rights, faith-based usage, and religious, religious, as they call it, we say spiritual, but in the context of the law, we have to qualify it, as a religious possession of the holy, of what we regard, according to the school of thought and theology of Rastafari, to be the holy herb. Now, question, is marijuana really for the healing of the nations? Is it the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Is it the enigmatic tree of life, or both? Was it known in the ancient Egypt, and what is the cannabis, or as it's also called, marijuana's Hebraic roots in the Torah? What is its true significance in true and authentic Christianity and in Christ, lamb's bread? In addition to these questions and the answers and more Previously hidden biblical and ancient facts are presented in this volume of the series, in this particular volume right here. And then the last note on this, on the on the back notes right here, says that the publishers, I and I, the Lyme Society of His Imperial Majesty, have also composed, written, and compiled many many books and documentary evidences and other works in demonstration of our faith in the God and his Christ revealed in the true light of the revelation of Ras Tefari since 1991 AD. Now, previously, we had also composed and published several articles in the forms of pamphlets and tracts on various subject matters related to our divine heritage. So this is fundamental. We regard that this particular text right here is fundamental to the sacramental rights approach of the Rastafari, you know, and as well as putting into better and scriptural context this spiritual, this 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 um, spiritual revelation. You see, we've received Rastafari. We receive a spiritual revelation. It's like the disciples in the Bible; they were following. The, the, the Christ. They were following Christ as we follow Christ and his kingly character, the King of Kings. Yet they still, there was ancient and previous knowledge that they did not have acquaintance with because of the suppression of this knowledge. This is why Christ repeatedly would say, have you not read? And he would refer to written texts as, as, as evidence to bulwark or to buttress his revelation or his fulfillment, really his explaining, clarifying, and heightening and enlightening of the word because they had a religious, you see, there was a kind of a religious um, orthodoxy. It was the religionists in the form of the Pharisees and the scribes, similar to today when we view Christianity, when we view religion. You know, we're to take them to be seriously and legitimately of God according to their religious text, namely the Bible, and we see that most of their practices have nothing to do with the Bible. Now, we, you understand, as a revelation of Christ in this time of the regeneration of the Son of Man, are presenting evidence, and they want to ignore you know, the evidence, but it says, ye shall know the truth. So this is a personal responsibility to each of us 
that each of us have before the living God, if you please, and his Christ to know the truth for ourselves. And we think that this volume right here, um, the cannabis um, matrix, the Sheshat appendix, it gives one the opportunity. And um, there's much more in this particular volume. So this volume, we had hoped that it would be out previous to this 2012 uh, FASICA. But since this is the issue that we've been speaking about, cannabis, the Kana Bush, you know, or the name, the new name that we think is a new name, that we regard the Kina Balsam as it's translated from a modern Jewish, um, European Jewish perspective. But looking at those uh, Hebrew glyphs or letters and using the Ethiopic as a cookie cutter code, it, the more correct pronunciation would be the the Kana Bush or the Kana Bissim. It was the the, the Kana Bush as as a as a short um, um, reference that is that is um, etymologically correct. Now some dismiss all of this as folk etymology. You know there are some who try to make a case against marijuana and based on a lot of faulty and and irrational information that's not justified or verified by truth, whether they try to dismiss the true etymology in the Bible, the old saying is very verifiable by the evidence that this is the correct interpretation, the old saying of scriptures, even regarding the cannabis or the anabush, you know saying, or the the holy herb. And then it begins to become clear exactly you know, what's going on in the big picture of things. But anyway, without further ado, we want to just present this right here to you all and hope that each one get a copy of this. You know what I'm saying? Check it out and, you know, give I and I a, um, feed, a feed forward, all right, on this. So this is the Cannabis Matrix. Get a copy. <laughs> 